praise the lord hallelujah welcome again to our monday 15 minutes podcast i want to beg your indulgence now please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please press on subscription button and then you will see a bell comes out please press on the bell it's very very important that you press the bell now what do you have to gain every time the 15 minutes podcast is ready youtube will always drop you a notification and after your busy day schedule then you can always follow us up on your favorite minute 15 minutes podcast remember we just finished a series of teaching on a divorce the devil's alternative now i will say to you that that should be season one that should be season one there is season two which is what I'm starting today and then you need to understand this as well because there are two versions of the believer two sets of believers in the church I will explain the second one so today I'm going to be starting on a new series of teaching which I call divorce the ball is in your court divorce the ball is in your court and I'm going to be taking my text from 1 Corinthians 7 10 to 15 then in the process of this in the in the process of the series i will explain why i chose the title the ball is in your court now first corinthians 7 10 to 15 10 and 11 we have already is what we have already treated in the past two weeks on the subject divorce the devil's alternative please if you have not watched that series you really need to make yourself available to it hallelujah now let's go first corinthians 7 10 to 15 he said and unto the married I command. I like this. Understand that. And unto the married I command. Yet not I. Mark my lips. Yet not I, but the Lord. So, meaning that this command is not coming from Paul. This command is coming from the Lord. So, there's nothing you can do about this. This is the Lord's command. Now, what is the Lord's command? Let not the wife depart from her husband. But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried. Let her remain unmarried. Or be reconciled to her husband. And let not the husband put away his wife. But now this is this is the series now you see this first part is the one that i've treated in the past two, two weeks telling you if you read that from a the passion translation verses 10 and 11 from passion translation i how hear what he said and to those who are married talking about christians i give this charge which is not mine but the loss that the wife should not depart from her husband but if she does if she does mean that she is, is an option is the, that is the option on the table she can depart then she should either remain unmarried did you see that remain unmarried or reconcile with her husband and a husband must not divorce his wife must not so 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 in the past two weeks i've treated the subject that a Christ, christians can never divorce never listen to me even if you divorce on the paper as far as God is concerned, you are not divorced. Divorce between two believers is not known to God. Not for any reasons. I've explained that in two weeks. If there is a case of domestic violence, the Bible says that the wife can, can, can depart, can leave, can leave you. In the case of domestic violence. But if she wants, she cannot remarry somebody she must remain unmarried at best she can reconcile back to her husband so i've treated that in the past two weeks now i'm treating this second part which we need to understand now hear what that second part said he said but to the rest you see that is why we're having this season two but to the rest now what did paul teach to the teach to the rest that is the one we need to understand now finish with season one two to, to, to the married to the married to the married believers now but to the rest speak i speak i 
read my lips speak i paul speak i not the lord so in other words this second one i'm teaching now this second this season two on the subject of divorce that i'm teaching now is not the lord's command it's not god that commanded this it is paul that commanded this it is paul that commanded it so we're going to be looking at the process that paul commanded but it's not god who commanded it but the one that god commanded god has already told you that as far as me god is concerned this is where i stand now paul now said but there's another case where the divorce question comes up and that is what i'm treating and that is one the one i'm treating right now which is season two that's why i didn't join it with the first one because it, it will not be relevant under the first one which is that the devil's authority now it's relevant under this top subject which i call the ball is in your court the ball is in your court the ball is in your court if any brother have a wife that believed not did you see that did you see that so now we're treating now a christian brother and an unbeliever and she'll be pleased to do it with him let him not put her away did you see that so in other words if a brother had a wife that believed not in other words yeah, two unbelievers now the first set in this season one we, dis we discussed two believers in season two we are discovering two unbelievers and one of them became born again did you see that now Paul said, if any brother have a wife that believeth not that believeth not and she be pleased to dwell with him let him not put her away in other words the brother has the brother shouldn't go ahead with divorce because he is now born again so those are things i want to discuss so let me just read it and then we analyze it generally okay let it not put her away but you see paul said it's not god who told him this but it's he paul that is teaching this so we're going to be analyzing what paul said and we're going to be looking at it in the light that you can choose to take paul's advice or to do otherwise and where where where, where you need to do otherwise i will explain that but i just wanted to get the text and the woman which had an husband that believe it or not and the woman that's a, a christian sister who's a, a two unbeliever where the sister where a lady where the wife is born again and then the husband is still not born again he said and if he be pleased to dwell with her let her not live for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband else why your children unclean but now i did holy i will explain that in the process of this teaching but if the unbelieving depart aha uh -huh, if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. But God had called us to peace. So that's exactly what I want to discuss in this second season two of the subject of divorce. Now let me quickly run through that for you in a, what's it called? In passion, so that you understand the plain language. Paul said, uh, and, to, and to those who are married, Two believers i give this charge which is not my own but the lord's own good that the wife should not depart from her husband but if she does then she should need to either remain or married or reconcile with her husband and the husband must not divorce his wife must not divorce his wife now to the rest i say which is not a saying of the lord if a brother has an unbelieving wife and she is content to live with him you should not divorce her and if a woman has a husband who is not a believer and is content to live with him, she should not divorce him. For the unbelieving husband has been made holy by his believing wife. And the unbelieving wife has been made holy by her believing husband by virtue of his or her sacred union to a believer. To a believer. God. I will explain this in the series. Otherwise, the, the children from this union will be unclean. But in fact, they are holy. But if the unbelieving spouse wants a divorce, let it be so. If this situation, in this situation, the believing spouse is not bound to the marriage. For God has called us to live in peace. And why? For all you know, you could one day lead your husband to salvation. Or husband, how do you know for sure that you could not one day lead your wife to salvation? Praise the Lord. So, follow me and then we are going to be teaching that's season two on the subject of divorce but like i said it is between a christian a, a, a newly born again a, a, a two the first season was between two believers the second season is
between two unbelievers and one God saved. So how do you handle the marriage? How if, if a case of divorce comes up, how do you handle it in such a case? That's what we want to be talking about. Okay, for the two believers who are married but are now separated, I want to proceed on divorce. Paul said that the ball is not in your court. When he said the commandment not to divorce your Christian spouse is the Lord's and not his own command, as Paul in that first Corinthians 7 10 to 11. We are Paul saying, and unto the married, I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband, but and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put his wife away. Uh, the person translation says, and to those who are married, I give this charge, which is not mine, but the Lord's. Okay. That the wife should not depart from her husband, but if she does. So, meaning that for two believers who are married, uh, the option of divorce is not on the table but option of separation now from from separation you cannot proceed to remarry somebody else but the only option you have is an option of reconciliation okay but if she does then she should need she should either remain unmarried or reconcile with her husband and a husband must not divorce his wife you see you can't divorce a wife a brother or a sister cannot proceed on divorce or separation but can only reconcile back to the brother or sister in that first corinthians 7 10 to 11 and unto the married i command yet not i but the lord let not the wife depart from her husband but and if she depart let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband and let not the husband put away his wife so divorce is not in your court as two married believers you don't have the option listen to me in your marriage as born again believers in your marriage as born again believers divorce divorce but it does not exist in your marriage you have only you have only two buttons the option of separate especially in the case of what you call in the case of um, domestic violence and then the option of reconciliation so you can go back but you can't move forward if you separate from your husband you stayed separated if you feel like being married again you, the only option you have is reconciliation so I need to get this right again just in case somebody is starting with us in this new series so please if you are just starting with me in this new series you didn't read the you didn't watch the other uh, episode before this one please go back to it because from wednesday i'm going to be discussing uh divorce the the, the ball is in your court for two unbelievers and one gossip but for christian divorce is not an option it is not in your court so i will see you in our wednesday 15 minutes podcast where we will continue on our series of teaching, Divorce, the ball is in your court.